What I eat in a week, well, a work week, like from Monday to Friday. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of the meals that I ate from Monday morning to Friday night. And this has been very requested more than three times this time. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it can give you some ideas and you can get a more general idea about the things that I eat. Obviously I don't eat exactly like this every week, but it's pretty representative. So I'll leave you with all of the meals and see you at the end. Starting out with oatmeal, putting the oats, the soy milk, vanilla soy milk, putting it in the microwave, eating half a banana while I wait. Then it's out of the microwave, I'm putting some cinnamon, some vanilla extract, some orange blossom, adding some granola, and then putting the other half of the banana in my bowl. I don't do this nicely as you can see. Putting some almond powder, some cranberries, and a ton of nut butter. And that is my final breakfast, and it was delicious. And I also had a glass of water. So now I'm having zucchini gnocchi and then I'm putting some beans, some tomatoes and some green beans into a pot and then adding spices, turmeric and added cheddar cheese to the gnocchi and that was it. Very simple. And then I had a muffin for dessert. For dinner, my mom made some butternut squash with coconut milk and some red lentils. And she also added a ton of spinach. And I made myself useful by making some white rice on the side and that was the full meal. From dessert, I had a little tea cake from Mark and Spencer's. Actually, I had two of these, and I also had a clementine. Quick interruption to say that I am now taking online clients. If you want to embark on your health and nutrition journey and you need a little bit more help than videos and articles, then you can book one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with me. These online calls will obviously be tailored to each individual person and to your specific needs, but here are some things that you can expect. I have a no judgment, very gentle approach to nutrition and very inclusive of all body types and people in general. We will do an in-depth assessment of your history with food, your beliefs around food, your general eating patterns, what you like, your diet, your relationship with food, your body image, your lifestyle. I will really provide a holistic approach to nutrition and so it won't just stop at what food you're putting into your plate. I will also provide some smart goal setting and some accountability if that is what you are looking for as well as some nutrition information tips tricks facts anything that can help you on your journey my goal is to get you to stop yo-yo dieting and finally stick to healthier eating patterns to help you eat the food that you love without binging or restricting to get you to be able to trust your body to tell you when to eat and when to stop and to view eating as a pleasure amongst others and not something you're obsessed with so you can finally feel at peace with food and happy with with your body. I'm not gonna go on too long, but if you're interested in learning more, I'm putting the link to my nutrition coaching info in the description. Make sure to check it out. Back to the video. The next day, breakfast was the same, except I put some raspberries instead of the bananas. Usually I just switch up the nut butter or the fruit to make it a little bit different. And then I had some leftover vegetable lasagna to which I added some spinach leaves with some apple cider vinegar and some olive oil and some nuts and seeds. 
and some nutritional yeast. And then I had half of a banana for dessert. And then kombucha and cookies for a snack. So then I had some tofu, chopping up the tofu. Put some soy sauce in there and a bunch of different spices. Some maple syrup, apparently I didn't have enough. All my sauces were out. And some like sour and sweet sauce. Put the tofu in there and then I let it sit for like 30 minutes. And then I made some brown rice. And then I'm chopping up some vegetables. And then put that on the stove. Then I started to cook the tofu and I added cornstarch to the sauce and then put that on the tofu and added the rice to the vegetables and then added this sweet spicy sauce and that was the final meal. And that's the amount that I could not finish because I wasn't hungry anymore. And then I had half an apple. Yes, I love having half fruits. I don't know why. So for breakfast, I didn't actually have anything apart from maybe a few little nuts that I had because I exercise. When I exercise in the morning, I don't eat before because if I do, I feel like I want to throw up and if I exercise right after. And afterwards, I'm not that hungry. So I just waited until I was hungry and decided to go for an early lunch instead of a breakfast. This often happens on the days where I exercise. So lunch was basically the same as Monday lunch, lots of leftovers, and I just added these little balls of chickpea and sweet potato and turmeric. Yeah. I can't get it out of my mind. You know I think about it all the time. And then a clementine for dessert. And two homemade muffins for a snack and some bubble tea. And for dinner I had an asparagus tart? Did you guys say tart? Well, that thing, whatever. And then I had a salad with cabbage and lettuce leaves and some nuts and seeds as usual and probably some olive oil and apple cider vinegar as a dressing. And I had some raspberries, frozen raspberries for dessert. Breakfast was a slice of whole grain bread with some cashew nut butter and some raspberries. Very simple. For lunch, I had some whole wheat pasta with 14 grams of protein for 100 grams, which is pretty good in terms of protein, and then put some cheese on there, and then made a little side salad with all my leftovers that I had. So I've been eating the same thing for three days. I'm sorry, but it's just very realistic. When I have leftovers, I don't like to throw them away. I like to reincorporate them into my meals. And then ate this huge plate of pasta. had the other half of the apple that I probably had like two days ago. <laughs> I don't even remember. Now I'm chopping this broccoli. I try to do it at least 30 minutes before I cook it. That way the enzyme can activate for in order to make the sulforaphane, which is the anti-cancer compound in broccoli. So the more you leave it, the better, but I try to do it at least 30 minutes. So then I'm cutting some fresh onions. Some ginger and then cook all of that so I looked up what this was called it told me semolina but I never heard that before so what do you guys call this and I blended the, um, the soup and so this was the soup I put some sesame seeds on there as well 
and that's the semolina or whatever you guys call this couscous thing with uh, chickpeas. And a clementine for dessert and some Easter eggs, early Easter eggs. Breakfast was the same except I put, I think, a different kind of nut butter, maybe peanut butter, or at least a mix of almond butter and peanut butter, I mean cashew butter and peanut butter. I sometimes use little mixes to spice it up. For lunch, I had a beetroot and kidney bean patty, and then my leftover, whatever this is called, from last night. And I put some asparagus, and I'm just putting some like salt and pepper on everything, some ketchup, Apparently, it's the end of my ketchup bottle as well. And another clementine. Sorry, this is super boring, but they're in season and they're very good. So that's why I'm just having them all the time. Friday night, I had a beer that tastes like cherry soda, and then I had a pizza, a calzone, you guys say that, which basically you feel like you're eating only half a pizza, but you're actually eating an entire pizza, but it's just folded over. That's what I did not eat. That's it for my meals of the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it because it took forever to film and it's probably gonna take forever to edit as well. So the meals aren't fancy, but again, super realistic. I don't always make super beautiful plates. I just like to eat healthy and convenient and easy meals, and sometimes not that healthy, but most of the time, healthy balanced meals. And I really don't like to spend too much time on it. I'm not a big fan of cooking, which may be a little bit weird to some people, but I don't like it that much. I just like to eat good things. So I just do the limited amount of cooking I have to do in order to be satisfied with what I eat. I hope this video could also show you that healthy eating doesn't have to be hard. Healthy eating doesn't have to look like eating different um, beautiful salads every day. As for the times, I know a lot of people ask. Usually I have breakfast around 9.30. I have lunch around 2.30 and then I have a little snack sometimes around 5, 5.30 or 6, it depends. And I have dinner around 8.30. So those are the general hours, but obviously they can vary day to day, but generally, yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.